hi lovelies welcome back to my channel so today we are having chicken uh, fried chicken okay fried chicken stew okay so first of all I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to use uh, here okay so um, I will first of all go with um, black pepper yes little of this you can see it yeah after paper I'm going to put uh, coriander and then I'm going to put a uh, rico this is chicken flavor and then um, I'm going to put turmeric this is from back home I came with it from my country and finally we are going to put our salt salt to taste okay so let's get started uh, i'm going to marinate it with uh, my hands my hands are very clean i'm just going to marinate mix everything together and then set it aside in a, in a cooler for 30 minutes to one hour Mix it very well. So after mixing it this way, yeah, now it's properly mixed. I'm going to set it aside that is in the uh, cooler for 30 minutes to one hour, and then get back to you. As my chicken is still marinating in the uh, cooler, this is what I was doing. I was, cutting, uh, I was cutting my ingredients. So everything is ready. It's about 45 minutes from the time I put it in the uh, freezer. So uh, this is the pot that I'll be using, the cooking pot, frying pan or saucepan, depending on how you pour it. So in this pan, I'm going to set my gas on, put it on. I'm going to put cooking oil. Uh, this is the cooking oil that I'm using. So it depends on what you're using, vegetable oil or any other flour oil, butter or whatever you have. Just put enough what is enough uh, for your preference. So our oil is hot. I'm going to use this. I'm going to put uh, this is garlic and ginger paste. I just found it now. Put it inside. So wait until it cook, cooks for two like two minutes. Before it get before it gets brown, you can throw your chicken inside. Remember we are cooking uh, on a low heat, so I'm going to cover it for a few minutes. So we will keep on checking and turning our chicken so that it doesn't stick down. Make sure you turn both sides to cook properly. Cover it. Make sure you keep on turning the chicken. When you see like the chicken is almost ready or turning brown, you can add your onions. Ok, 
keep on checking our chicken. We don't want it to burn. When onions get ready, we put the tomatoes. Don't forget to check your, your chicken. So at this point I haven't added any soup, any water. I have not added any water. That is uh, from tomato. That is how it is cooked. So uh, at this point it depends on you. If you want to add more water in it, you can add. And this is the time you can ch uh, check if it has enough salt. If you want to add more uh, roiko and all those that I added earlier on, you can. But for me, I normally put what is enough. So I'm going to taste salt. I think I need a, a little bit of more salt. So if you want to add more water in it, you, this is the time because your, your chicken is ready by this time. So I'm going to just add in something small because I'm having it with rice. Thank you so much guys. If you've learned something from me, kindly subscribe, share, like, comment and also um, cover it for a few minutes and then it will be ready to serve. Now this is ready to, to be served. I'm going to turn off the gas and serve myself. If you've watched until this point, um, so humbled. Thank you so much for watching my videos and also thank you for supporting me. May God bless you. Bless the works of your hands and see you again in my next videos okay bye come we enjoy together